Hi all. You remember last week I told you about Jesus visiting the temple when he was a boy? Well, from now until Easter, we're going to look at some of the stories about Jesus. And although the Bible doesn't tell us anything about him till he was 30, we presume he helped his father, who was a carpenter. And we take up the story where he went to where John was baptising people in the Jordan. Jesus was baptised by John as well as other people. And as he came up out of the water, heaven opened and the Holy Spirit in the, came down on him in the shape of a dove. And a voice could be heard saying, you are my son, my special son, and I'm really pleased with you, and I love you. And after this, Jesus went back from the Jordan, and the Holy Spirit led him to a lonely part of the desert, where he was tempted for 40 days by the devil. Jesus didn't eat anything during this time, and at the end of it, he was very hungry. And the devil said to him, you're the son of God, you can tell this stone to become bread. And Jesus said to him, it is written, man does not live on bread alone, but by every word that comes out of the mouth of God. Then the devil took him to Jerusalem and he took him to the highest part of the temple. And he said, if you're the son of God, Throw yourself down from here, because it's written, he will command his angels to take care of you. They will lift up you up in their hands so that you don't bang your foot against a rock. Jesus said, it is also written, do not test the Lord your God. The devil led him to a high place. And showed him all the countries, all the countryside around. And he said to him, I can give you everything you can see because it's mine to give and I can give it to anyone I want to. All you've got to do is worship me and you can have the lot. Jesus said, go away from me, Satan. It is written that the only person you should worship is God. And he is the only one that you serve. And after this, the devil left Jesus alone. And Jesus went back to Galilee. How would you have felt if you'd been at the baptism of Jesus? I wonder what thoughts you would have had at that time. What would you have done if the devil tempted you? How would you have replied? Last Tuesday was Pancake Day and Pancake Day reminds us that the next day is the start of Lent. Now lots of people give up things from Lent to Easter to just mark the time that Jesus didn't eat for 40 days. But what I'm going to suggest to you is not that you necessarily give anything up but that you actually try and do something over the next 40 days. See how many stories about Jesus that you can read or get your mum to read if you can't read yet. But see how many stories you can find out about Jesus. What he did, what he said, how he helped people. See what you can find out. And if you can, write down all the stories that you've managed to read. Perhaps one day we'll be able to look at them together and talk about them. God bless you. Stay safe. Bye.